Well, I probably get a, a call at least once a week, sometimes two, three times a week from officers telling me the challenges that are going on in their job. They're very frustrated. I've never had this happen where so many officers are calling and saying, listen, we just put our lives on the line to arrest somebody and the next day the person's out. If you think for one second that someone released on a low cash or no cash bond could not possibly victimize someone in your community, think again. I shared the case of this murdered little 13-year-old girl, a child who had her whole life ahead of her, her chance to make Michigan a better place, gone. Gone at the hands of a monster who should have never been released from jail. We hear that bond isn't about punishment, but fairness. We sheriffs agree. That fairness must include protecting the rights, safety, and security of victims. First called 911, fired shots. Police got there. He opened fire on the police officer. Police officer returned fire, shot him, then saved his life when he was saying, let me bleed out. Saved his life and now is being sued. That is the environment the men and women are operating in. Those kinds of things cannot continue. I want you to think about this. I grew up in law enforcement. I started as a dispatcher. And think about the number of calls they take in a dispatch center. The volume of calls, hundreds of thousands, millions of calls a day. And we don't hear too many problems or issues in and around law enforcement with how they handle those calls. But the minute there's one call that comes in and it's a mishap, something happens that's wrong, all of a sudden it becomes highlighted, what's wrong? They need better training. Is it something wrong with the, the officer? Was there some bias that the officer may have had that didn't want to help respond? But yet we hear nothing about every call that's handled every day appropriately because that's what the public expects and we understand that. The most important thing I would say take away uh, from today is that we need to support our law enforcement officers, make them feel appreciated, and also put the uh, the incentives into law enforcement to get them to want to come back and, and start working in this profession.